prepare to be sick of me. Prepare to be sick of me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brittany here with another banger video for you guys. As y'all can see, I'm in my pajamas. I got my bonnet on. It's giving real at home. I'm in a crib in my room currently right now. Y'all see I got my calendar right here. I got my tucked in frame, the lights. It's giving a vibe. It's giving, it's really giving aesthetics. Let's be real. Let's be real. Excuse me. I don't want to make this video too, too long, but oh, just dropped the package. But judging by the title, y'all can already tell what we got on today, what we got, you know, what's, what's really getting into the video. Let's see this out a little bit. There we go. So let's get into it. And we're on. All right, y'all, so for today, what we're gonna be doing, we're going to be DIYing some lashes. So I used to get my lashes done, um, like what, a year ago, about a year or two ago. Um, I used to get like actual like lash extensions, um, but one, they're super expensive. I can't, I can't afford that, babes. We got real bills to pay and I can't afford to consistently get my lashes done like I used to. So I'm like, okay, let me find some, let me become a DIY girly. Let me get into doing stuff myself, doing my lashes myself, my nails myself. Let's actually learn how to do stuff ourselves because it can be, it'll be a lot better if I know how to do it myself and I'm able to like fill it in myself and stuff like that. Instead of having to pay a deposit, find availability, book an appointment, pay $100 on top of that, just for some lashes to fall out of the lawn later. So, water break. <sighs> Y'all, I'm running off no sleep. I got off work at 2 a.m. It's currently what? 7.18 in the morning. No sleep. All right. So here's my Amazon package. I got my mirror here as well. Ooh. And I also have like this additional spoolie. So the lashes that I got are Fad Lash FAD DIY lashes. I got 30D plus 40D kit. Hopefully y'all can see it. These are what the lashes kind of look like. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> These are what the lashes kind of look like. Um, you see like they got the sizing. They got eight millimeters up until 16. And same for that. I think it's, I think this is 30 on the top. Yeah, 30 and then 40. So like thickness, so you can tell like based off how thick and full you want it to look. So I'm super excited, y'all. I'm super excited. Like, I'm prepared for this. It also came, let's see. It also came with this. It's like, I guess like a lash comb and then like tweezers. Yeah. And then this, I was really excited about this one. But this is, the fad lash bond and sealant so it's a two in one so let's go ahead and open this one up i was real real excited about this because like i couldn't wait for y'all to see it right you know what i'm saying like not even just for y'all to see it but for me to see it because i'm the one that's doing it <laughs> but i've been seeing a lot of girlies do diy lashes on tiktok so i'm like okay i can't wait to like get my own come in the mail you know what i'm saying so it says bond and seal. Bond and then seal. The bond part just says easy apply by brush through. So you brush it onto your lashes. The TikTok girlies now, okay, listen. My lips are so dry. Do I have Carmex? I'm sorry, y'all. My lips, I just, I keep licking them because they're dry. No lip product. What happened to this Carmex I had in here? Crazy. I'm gonna throw it away but okay so 
they say for the bond to like brush it through your lashes let me show y'all hopefully y'all can read it but the tiktok girl is okay the tiktok girl said do not brush it all the way through put it only like at the base of your lashes right so i'm going based off what i feel like i know and what the tiktok girls have been showing me so we're gonna put that away excuse me let's go ahead and unbox the tweezers I love that it's pink. Uh, uh, pink's not my favorite color, but I just love that it's pink. Let's take this little plastic shit off. Please come off. Don't play with me right now. You ruin my vibe. You ruin the aesthetic. All right. <laughs> now we're gonna put this back on until we're ready to do it. Then, what else we got? The lashes. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. So before we open them, I'm gonna go ahead and take my spoolie. I don't even know if I should really use this on my lashes because it's kind of dirty. I use this for my eyebrows. I use every spoolie I have, I use it for my brows. I never use one for my actual lashes. So we're gonna use their comb that they gave us and we're gonna just like comb our lashes, okay? Oh wow, it's actually a good comb. Either it's a good comb or I just have long lashes. Ever since I stopped getting lash extensions, my lashes have been able to grow and just get fuller. Not saying that like lash extensions like deteriorated my lashes, but just having a severe break from them really did help. Mind y'all, don't pay attention to like my nose right here. Um, this piercing is some salt some sea salt on it because I had a keloid that's finally finally going away It's at like the very very last stages So I'm still like following up with like sea salt and hydrogen peroxide because it's been working really really well And it's finally gone away. So I'm still like following up. So I want to make sure it don't come back Ever and if you know switching from like a stud to a hoop <sighs> Boy, we gonna talk about that another time All right so let me go ahead and open up the lashes because I want to be able, like, as soon as I put the bond, I want to be able to get straight into the lashes. I keep doing it upside down. There's like the hook on this side. Oh. Let's see how I feel. Feel soft, boy. Ain't no way, boy. They feel super soft. Oh no, these. <sighs> Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare to be sick of me. Okay. So I'm trying to think, cause how we gonna how we gonna do this, y'all? How we gonna do it? How are we going to do it? We probably gonna do definitely forty on the bottom part, and then we are gonna do like the um. 30D, so 40D on like the outer, like from here up into like the middle, and then 30D the rest of the way in. So now let's lash map it, you know? Um, we're not doing 16. 16 just seems too long. And, and and the crazy part about it is when I had lash extensions, I used to do 18 millimeter to 20 millimeter max. Like those are my maximums. You can do anything below them, but those are my maximums. Girl. Sorry, blinked out for a minute. But yeah, those are my maximums. So now it's just like, when I look back on them, the lashes look great, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, now me as like who I am now from like two years ago, that's just too long for me. Even 16, like looking at how long let me show you how long 16 is. Like y'all can see like the height difference, right? So eight is all the way down here. Those are more like inner corners. And then what's it? 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. 16 just seems like outrageously too long for me. So we'll probably do like 15, 14. Cause I want natural, right? 
I'm talking too much. Let's get into it, cause girl, we don't wait for nobody. So, 40, 30. So we're gonna do 15, 15, 14, 12. So yeah, 15, we're gonna do 15, 14, 12 and then 10. It looks like there's a strip. I'm looking at them close. It looks like there's like a strip of like a glue or like tape. I'm gonna say glue tape on the lashes holding them down. I don't know if y'all can see it, but y'all see it? It's like right, it's like right there. It's like it's holding them down. Should I take that off? I don't know. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous, but bad bitch is not weak. So let's get into it. Let me zoom y'all in closer to my eyeballs. We in there like swimwear. Ooh, all right. Boy, no way, boy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off of the 15. Oh, no, there's no tape. I don't think there's tape. Cause when I'm gonna pull one off, it's ready to come off, so. Oh, I'm nervous, y'all, yeah, I'm nervous. I get so nervous before I do big things. All right, so my lashes are clean. I'm sorry if I lick my lips a lot through the video, y'all. My lips are dry and I cannot find no Carmax. So we are gonna be licking in. Sorry. All right, so Bond. Oh, wrong one. A minute to come out. Oh, it comes out on the other side. I'm switching things gonna pop up like that. It pops up like this. So I was wrong. It smells like lotion. So, so again, we're not brushing them all the way up. We're placing them just. Wow, this is a lot coming off. Placing them just on my base. Just like that. Now we're gonna hold our eye open, even though it's not getting on my eye. We don't trust these products, babe. We're gonna go in with our 15 milliliter. Yeah, it is some kind of tape. I know I wasn't tweaking. Okay. I don't know how fast this shit dries, so. Let's just do it, y'all.
Pray for me, y'all. So y'all just saw, I put, um, I tried to go ahead and move to 12, but the, the eyes were not ready yet. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to 14. know y'all because I I haven't had my lashes done in so long but I just don't know how I look I think I'm gonna go ahead and excuse me I think I'm gonna go ahead they definitely give off the extensions vibe like you can't tell me they're not they're not mine I mean they're not they're not extensions but um I definitely I don't know yet y'all I'm gonna go ahead and put um, some glue in my inner corner and then put a 10 millimeter because the last thing I stopped off was was 14 I believe no 12 sorry so I went I did like two 16s I did 14 then I went to 12 so I'm gonna put a little 10 and then um, we're gonna do the same on this side and then we'll come back and see how They actually look um pretty cool to me. Wow, so my actual lashes on this. Yeah, definitely. Wow, okay. Definitely do not comb your lashes. I didn't comb it, but like it got on like some of the length of my lashes. 
definitely make sure you put it only on your only on your um what's that shit called you know what i'm trying to say only on the base of your lashes or yours will probably get stuck to your eyelid like mine did the glue isn't that strong so they'll come off um but i will say the glue is definitely strong like when it comes to putting your lashes. Let me take my eyelashes off and I'll be back. So I'm, okay, so I'm all done. These are the lashes, let's get into it. <laughs> I'm a better lash model when I'm actually having my lashes done like in the chair and stuff, but This is what they look like closed. Let me give you a closer up. They're kind of growing on me now. They're kind of growing on me. I know my next set definitely will not be as long because I can already feel these touching my eyelid. So these are a little too long for me now. I'm sorry y'all, the camera died. I had to change the battery. But um, I forgot what I was saying. But either way, I like them. Um, um, definitely next time I will this is how much I use let me show y'all I only used a little bit of the 16s and 14s and 12s and they're still pretty long but we're definitely gonna try um, the 30d next time we're gonna try to blend of both that way it could be a little bit more natural I kind of went with the 40d and just didn't stop but um we'll definitely try 30d next time because the 40d definitely gives you that that stylist perfect like look like lash extension look like that volume thick look so now we're gonna go in with our seal I can definitely say when doing your lashes make sure that you don't put them close to your waterline at all mine might look like they're close but I don't feel a thing and that's so good like I literally don't feel a thing with lashes lash extensions sometimes they they don't they I've only had one girl who do who did it right but then we just availability never worked out and I never ended up, ended up going back to her but she was the only one that did it like right to where like I didn't feel anything they felt good they felt soft um if they do tend to feel like a little ir irritating as the day goes on I'll probably just like pull them just to like move them up like that's literally all I'll probably do. Cause that's what I was doing like as I was placing them. If it was too close, I literally just yanked it and moved it up, but. Yeah, they actually look pretty good. I'll definitely post some pictures if I take some throughout the day. But now we're gonna go in with our sealant. And we gonna seal these bad boys. Okay. Oh, okay. That was a lot. Let me wipe the excess off.
are done. Just gonna wipe some of this excess, excess sealant off. Definitely makes them sticky, but once it all dries, I'll go through with the comb and stuff. Um, I kind of got it a little bit on the length, but once I get better at perfecting it, then I can work it like, you know, on just the base of them. But I'm gonna go ahead with my fan and just sit in front of the fan and let them dry. They said make sure that you do them like a good like time of the day to where they have like excess time to dry and stuff like that. So definitely like early time, don't do it at night or anything like that. So I will definitely post pictures and videos at the end of this video so that y'all can see the final result, what they're looking like throughout the day. I definitely hope you guys liked this video, you enjoyed this video, you learned a little something because I learned a lot. This is my first time and I honestly love them. They look bomb, let's be for real. <laughs> So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the notification button so you can join the gangers and be updated every time I drop another banger video every Friday. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.